This is an analog mixing console. See this whole section? This is the input section. Each one of these above each fader is exactly the same. And then here's the output section from here over. And look at these eight bus outs. Remember we talked about bus outs? Those are the eight bus outs. Here's the plugs that go to the tape recorder. I could use my buses to combine different instruments. Let's say if I was going to combine the drums into a stereo uh, to two tracks, I would put my one and two up. I would assign, uh, let's say that these are drums, one and two, one and two, one and two. Let's say I have four mics on the drums. And now this first mic is the kick drum. I want it center in my little pan knob here. And this second drum is the snare drum. I want its center in my little pan knob. And then this one is overhead left. I'm going to pan it all the way to the left. And this one is overhead right. I'm going to pan it all the way to the right. So now I've got four microphones on the drums. And I've got them both, all four microphones assigned to a stereo left and right. And I've got them panned left and right. So I would use my buses because I'm combining these tracks, you know, these inputs, multiple inputs into just a couple of tracks. So I would use the buses for that kind of thing. And then this is your auxiliary returns right here, this whole row right here. And then these are your monitoring section over in here. So we'll get to that. So this is a channel, an input channel. All right. And it starts up here. This first plug right over here is tape in. I mean, it says it, tape in. Can you see that from there? Am I in your way? tape in. And what that would mean is the output of your multi-track tape recorder. Look at, I have 16 tape ins. So I could have up to a 16 track tape recorder return through here. Now, I only have eight bus outs, so that means I could only record eight tracks at a time in that 16 track tape recorder. But I could return and listen to and play back 16 because I'm going to return them up here. Then we come down and we have the insert. It's got two plugs. It's got a send plug and a return plug. This is a microphone input here. Now let's say the microphone is coming in here. The signal goes down the channel to after the EQ and then it comes up here to the send. And here, without a plug plugged into this, it's normal from here to here, which means it goes there without a plug plugged into it. And then this return goes and puts the signal right back there. The idea is, is I have a device outside of the board, outboard gear, and I need to put something in it and use that device for a reason, and then bring it back into the board and then deal with it here inside the board. And that's what my insert send and return is perfect for. Now then I have a line input right here. This is a line input. I can put something into this channel that is an output from another device. Your CD player, that's line out. Cassette deck, that's line out. A guitar output, that's line out. Or a bass output, that's line out. Or an electric keyboard, that's line out. I have this mic plug right here, this three pin XLR, which is a balanced, positive, negative, and ground three pin, a balanced line. It's a balanced input, and it's a microphone level input. The signal that goes in there, microphone level, is so weak that it has to have a pre-amplifier to bring it up to line level. It's not line level, and it has to be line level to go through all the circuits in here. But let's say the bass, let's say it's on input four over here. So the base is, is here. All right, well, on some consoles, up in here, they would have another plug that would be called direct out. It's a good function to have on a console. Okay, well, the base is just a single instrument. I don't have to use up one of my buses to get my base to that 16 track. I could take and put a plug in the direct out 
of the base channel here and take that direct out and plug it into track nine on my multi-track tape recorder and I would then be recording nine tracks because I used the direct output from one of these channels. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buses to eight tracks. And the way I would get a ninth track on my tape recorder is to take a direct output. On this board, it doesn't have direct outputs. So that limits you a bit. But you could take your send and put it in track nine. But the only thing is, is that nothing past the EQ would be affecting this send output. You would have to control its volume from here because this fader would not control the volume out of that. If I was to use this send as a direct output. You get the idea about these plugs. These are the plugs. Now, when you put a patch bay in, all of these plugs, except for the mic, are going to your patch bay. All of these over here, all of your outputs, auxiliary sends and returns, everything going into the patch bay. That's why I wanted you to see this first, so you know what's going in the patch bay and get a better idea why, you know. Thank you.